keep it simple. A simple life is a beautiful life. Hello, welcome to Just Keep It Simple. It's evening. Normally, I don't do videos in the evening, but today I had some time and decided to do a quick video on uh, planting of a bobil volubilis. I speak like a Malaysian. Yeah, I speak like a Malaysian. <laughs> um, so I hope I pronounced it uh, right. But anyways, this is the plan. Yeah, this is the plan. So what you need to do is uh, get ready your soil. Yeah, this is the soil. Uh, it's uh, green. Yeah, I mixed uh, kind of like um, forty percent, thirty percent of wheat. Yeah, wheat means uh, stones that you have at home, like uh, pumice. Uh, Akadama, uh, Maifan, you know those things, then I just mixed it in here. So it's about 40%, 30-40% of that and 70% of uh, peat moss soil. And uh, of course I add all the fungi side, insecticide inside, yeah, all the powders. Um, and this one is a permis. This permis I think is about um, 4 to 6 millimeters yeah this is a big one yeah this is a big one. i normally like to use this and then the plant it's here and then i prepare a fork you must be wondering am i having a meal no i'm not having a meal i'm doing planting so let's go fast let's start now so what you do is you put a layer of um, bigger stones yeah at the bottom so this one i'm using is a permis this is about at least 4 mm and above yeah 4 mm and above so i put it down here for good drainage uh before that i think you saw a a mesh at the bottom yeah that is also to prevent uh the uh, soil uh wastage when you do watering so there's a white mesh underneath um sorry i skipped that uh and then i went straight putting this permis in now so next thing of course you just put the soil in yeah, you put the soil in normally i would just pour it in but for youtube purposes i will use a scoop and i will scoop it in yeah, I'll scoop it in just put it there and then you kind of know uh the uh length of your uh, roots right you know the length of your roots yeah so you kind of gauge like this would be good you want to see a bit of the bulb yeah you want to see a bit of the bulb so i think this is fine i'm just gonna flat it down now let's see let's clean this off there is some um if you see your plants yeah i'm gonna put this aside if you see your plants uh, with dry roots, yeah, with dry roots, um, just remove it, yeah, take a tweezer, remove it, or the brush, yeah, I also have a shop uh, in Shopee, Malaysia called RSLL, and I have another shop in Lazada, Malaysia, that's called uh, SR Wool, yeah, so um, those shops, I have tools, yeah, I have uh, tools that I've used, uh, and I find it very effective and then I will sell it in the shop. So that's what I do. Yeah. Um, it's kind of like sharing. Yeah. Sharing. Yeah. Selling is one thing, but sharing from my experience of uh, what tools that are good, it's another thing. So I kind of using a tweezer. Normally I just use a brush and brush it off. This is fine. Peel off some of the dry skin. Uh, I think this is good enough for me. Yeah. So you see dry skin like this, yeah, not necessary for you to peel it until you see all green. Uh, try try not to do that. Like for instance, you see this and oh, I want to peel it off. I just want to see green. There's no necessity to it. Uh, I'm always uh, thinking about, you know, reasons that they have dry skin. I'm sure it will go off. Um, it will dry off uh, while... Uh, maybe a few months later yeah so i'm just going to let it grow naturally yeah i'm going to let it grow naturally um now what you do is you put this in you put this in and then you add more soil yeah you add more soil i like to do this holding it yeah uh, or you can put all the soil inside and then make a hole and use a tweezer to push it in. but i i'm very comfortable doing this yeah i'm very comfortable doing this um so this one will take a while because I'm using a scoop and you fill it up. 
I feel that if like me, uh, I have a lot of planting to do. Yeah, I have a lot of planting to do. Then I'll just do this. <laughs> this is way, this is way way faster. It's way way faster. Uh, but if you want to use the scoop, yes you can. Yeah, yes you can. And we do this now. This you know even out the soil, even out the soil. Some I have some big stones there though. It's okay, no problem. Then you even it out and uh, see anything that you don't like, just pick it up and that's it now um do i put toppings uh i seldom put toppings yeah i seldom put toppings because uh i i sell some of my plants so i don't put toppings uh but if you know you are not a seller and you are a collector yeah go put any toppings you like yeah put any toppings you like um for your plants yeah so go ahead and put your toppings so today i'm not going to show uh putting toppings for this plant now uh, a lot of times it grow well yeah it grow well it grow upwards you can see like it grow upwards right so uh what you do is um, sometimes you start crawling everywhere and you you don't want to spend a lot of money buying the uh stand you know they come in hard shape and all kinds of shape so you can use something that you have at home so that's why i have a fork here i have a fork here so what i do is uh, I poke a fork at the angle where I could lean this so-called leaf on it. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. Can you see? Okay, just lean any part of the fork. Yeah, and there you go. Yeah, then it, it will grow with an angle because it's supported by the fork. Yeah, so uh, I'm gonna cut off this dry part here. Cut off this dry part here. It doesn't look nice, so now it looks great. It looks great, and wow! or you can get wires. Yeah, you can get wire, uh, a straight, uh, you know, like bonsai wires. You can get the bonsai wire, which is easy for you to uh, shape it. You can take the long part here and then twirl around, twirl uh, one. <laughs> How am I gonna say? I should have brought one but never mind i'm sure you guys are really really smart uh let's say this is the bonsai wire and the top here you twill a o shape twill an o shape and you poke it in and you lean this onto the o shape yeah onto the o shape yeah that's really simple too but i thought i want to share with you today something different uh using a fork yeah, using a fork it's pretty cool i thought using a fork was pretty cool so I was excited to share this video with you during dinner time. I think now it's about oh not it's not dinner time. It's quite late. It's about 10, 10 30 at night. So I hope this helps. Uh, this is a Boviel volubilis, and um, if you have one or any other plant that are crawling plants, small ones, yeah, small ones. I don't think we can find a giant fork. Uh, small ones and you don't have bonsai wires or any wires at home yeah you can try using a fork see i can even put the second stamp on it so have a happy weekend because today is saturday and uh, once i have any other updates i will send you a video link on your channel uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel so I can bring you more videos. Uh, interacting with you guys are great. Uh, thank you to those that subscribe and always give me motivation messages. Yeah, it's really great to see messages like that. It keeps me going. I, I'm only human. I'm only human. So every time I receive messages from you guys, say you know that's great and that's good. Those are really really very motivating and it keeps me going. Making more you for you guys because um, I think you guys deserve it um, that always make an effort to type that few words that means so much to me okay so have a good weekend and ciao